Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so very much for joining me today. I hope you guys are having the most wonderful day. I have for you today a video all about randomness at Pinkland. Some of these things are, are things I picked up. Um, I've never bought them before. Some things I have bought before um, and maybe showed you guys, but I'm so excited. So let's get ahead with the first thing. Okay, <laughs> totally random. Um, mop heads. Guys, I don't like um, throwing the um, stick of my mop out. I find it really difficult to get it in the bin. So what I tend to do is keep it and just replace it with these um, little synthetic and cotton mop heads. These are awesome because they're a pound for a pack of two. You get a synthetic mop um head here and you get a cotton mop head um i use these on two different mops um one is for um outside like my porch area um i tend to use the synthetic one and then the cotton twist mop head i keep for inside um so i always like to buy these and have them spur i currently have a set that are working perfectly fine there's nothing wrong with them but i always like to have a spur set because i know i'll be changing them out probably in the next little bit so these are fun and they're only a pound and the it means that i'm not i'm just going to move the bag off um it means that i'm not i told you guys down it means that i'm not throwing the the sticks out whether they're plastic or whether they're wooden i find them really hard to break and put them into my bin so i've just learned keep the little stick and it's so much cheaper for me personally just to buy the replacement um, the replacement heads for the mops. So guys, a couple of fun little things. I have purchased a couple of little, little drawing books. Um, the first one is just an A4 sketch pad. Um, I use, I take a lot of notes. I like doodling. Um, and I find that these little sketch pads are awesome. They're hobby corner. You get 80 sheets of um, pretty fine, nice drawing paper. And it's 75 GMS. I think that's the weight of the paper. The paper is quite, it's nice. It's sparkling white paper. Um, and it's just fun to doodle and take notes in. Um, so I always like to have something like this around. But I thought what would be really fun would be to buy a coloring book. I love these delicate, intricate coloring books. And um, this one is Color These Beautiful Illustrations and Soothe Your Mind. This is a fashion color book. Let me show you guys how gorgeous and delicate and intricate these are. Um, and I love when they're fully colored. And it's kind of like one of those adult um, coloring books um, just to, I guess, with the stress of COVID and the new variants that are out and, um, you know, being stuck at home. It's always nice to have something that just soothes your mind and takes you away from the doldrums of what's going on in the real world. And how pretty are these? They're going to be so much fun to colour in. So I'm really, really happy with this book. Um, it is just a lot of fun. Um, the back seems to be a bit more colourful than the front. Um, but I like this um, silver look book. So I'm really, really happy and excited to get stuck into that. What else do we have? We have a couple of beauty products. Um, I really like micellar water. I always take my makeup off, the first layer of my makeup off with wipes, but I then like to go in with the micellar cleansing water. Um, I find that it removes all remnants of my makeup and it's ready for me to put on my moisturizer. This little number six um, only cost a pound. Um, and by the, by the way, guys, I don't know if I mentioned, but the books were only a pound each. Um, as we know, prices have increased, so... Not everything in the pound shop is a pound anymore. <laughs> but this micellar water I think is great. I've used lots of different micellar waters from lots of different places. They're pretty much the same. Um, but I like the fact that you're getting 200 milliliters for a pound. And to help take off the rest of my makeup, I bought these makeup wipes. These are Gently Does It. They are super soft um, cotton pads. Inside this pad, I think you get... 100 you do because it's right here um and i like how soft they are but they're big and um, so i would probably use two of these cotton um, pads to take my the rem the remnants of my makeup off and um, with the smaller ones i use three maybe four sometimes five so i really like these um, and they're only a pound a pack for 100 which i think is pretty darn good going a couple of other fun things i've kind of got into potted plants and um, the weather's colder 
Um, I don't really go and do the garden very much when it's when we're in winter, but I do like um, the potted plants. Um, so I just thought these were fun because they're claw garden gloves. I've never seen them before. Um, they're a pound for a pack. They're really heavy duty um, rubberized um gloves and I like the fact that, that one set have these claws um I like I kind of think the reason that I bought these is so that I can move soil around without getting it stuck under my nails I don't know if you guys have um you know potted plants and you get the soil and it gets stuck in your nails it's super hard to get out even with um a nail brush and I do scrub it still sometimes remains there so I kind of thought these would be fun to help me move around um, the soil and dig little spots to put my um, plants in so I'm really, really happy I have those. And for a pound, I think even if they don't really work, I'm still totally fine with it. Um, I saw I saw this and I just thought this was cute. This is a little drink spot, um, a little drinks um container. It comes with the straw. Um, I like the fact that it sits up, so you can leave it down, and it looks almost like a. How do you get this open? I've never opened this. Um, it looks like a. Oh, Oh, there we go. It looks um, it looks like almost like a decor, like an arrangement. But you can fill up your juice. You put your little straw in. You pop the lid on, and we close it. It is so hard to close. Oh, it clicks and closes. And I just thought that was super fun. Um, something a little different I haven't seen before. And for a pound, I think why not have a little look. So guys, the next thing I purchased are some gift bags. These gift bags are two for a pound, which I thought is awesome. I did buy six. I have used one already, but they're medium sized bags um, and they're great because they're not just Christmas bags. You can use this little bag because it's a little bit more generic um, as normal gift bags. Um, so I thought... Um, two for a pound, was pretty decent. And um, so I picked up a, a, a number of those. A couple of little fun toys. Um, we're knocking everything over. Um, is this cute, adorable little princess jewelry set? It's Bella. And inside this little set, you get your cute little tiara with your gorgeous pink um, little jewels. You get a set of earrings, a little brooch, and you get a cute, adorable little necklace. Um, guys, I just think these are fun. Great kind of little gift ideas if you have a birthday coming up or something like that. And I just think they're super fun and they are glitzy and to be honest what little princess doesn't want to dress up I wish I had had these when I was a kid um I loved playing dress up so these are super fun I saw these little uh, nano machines I've never seen these nano machines before and um, they are urban blazers and um, they're for three and above and um, you get five cars with an integrated speed boost ball bearing so I'm assuming assuming that makes them go super fast and I just thought they were cute and adorable they make a lot of noise um, but they're cute and adorable because they're so tiny um, and I just had to pick these up because I thought they were adorable so that's a lot of fun guys a couple of other things that we have I'm just going to pull them out of the bag I love talk I use talk this is actually baby powder and I think it is talc free, but I'm not sure. Um, but I use a lot of um, baby powder for a number of different things. I um, use baby powder as my translucent setting powder. I know you guys will think that's really super weird, but I've been doing it for a long time and it makes my makeup stay on for the majority of the day. I know that you can buy setting powders. I've just found that this is what works for me um, and I don't use a whole lot of it. So this container will probably last me a really long time. But I love the fact that it's not heavy on my skin. It does not get into the fine lines and I totally always get compliments on my makeup. So I'm super happy with that. So now I use that for um, my translucent setting powder for my face. I also use this because... Uh, for my tan. So when I put my tan on, um, even though I stay usually stay for 10 minutes to let it dry, and I still find that sometimes, even especially around this part of my arm, when I bend it, 
I can get patchiness. So what I do, you guys again probably think this is crazy, but it really works for me. I use a little bit of the baby powder. I rub it on my arm to, to dry in the um any remaining tackiness that's left from um, putting on my false tan. It dries it. I get no streaks. I get no um, patchiness. So that's what I use this for. And for a pound, this lasts me a really, really long time. 200 milligrams. This will probably last me probably about six months. So really great value for me really works for me. I don't know how you guys put your tan on. I just know that sometimes I get a little bit impatient and, and after 10 minutes, I want to kind of get up and go. Um, it also means that there's no real transfer um, from the tan onto my clothes. So I use it for those little um, tricks. If you guys test it out and you think it works for you, leave a comment in the comment section be below. Um, I, that they're just the things that I use it for. Um, guys, her dye. I love this her dye. This is Pro um, Color Plus. I have been using this her dye from Poundland probably for about two years and I love it. Um, I have two-toned hair. <laughs> my hair is um, blonde. No, my hair is dark at the top. Um, I had to think about that. My hair is dark at the top, so this color at the top. And then as it gets to probably around here, I blend it into um, almost like an ombre into the blonde at the bottom. Um, so these are fantastic. There is enough in this container probably to do two coats of just my roots. Um, because I have naturally blonde hair, um, the roots come through quite quickly. So I usually have to put a, a hair dye on every two to three weeks i do try to stretch it out as much as i can and um, but sometimes i just need to go in with the hair color these little colors are a pound i think they're awesome they work for me guys you know i don't have any sensitivity to her dyes some of you might um so just always read the ingredients always do your testing strip um just to make sure that you're not allergic to it but they work for me and for a pound i really can't complain um, they always um, they always come out looking spot on. I also use it for my eyebrows as well because I like the darker eyebrow. Um, so I have a little eyebrow pencil and I dip it into the um, into the color and I just do my eyebrows as well. So for a pound to get my hair um, looking pretty um, pretty good, I mean that for me is an ultimate bargain. So they're always always on my shopping list. Every two weeks I buy those. Um, so guys, the next thing I purchased. I do have a couple of pair of really good headphones, but I don't like to, um, I have lost um, a pair of Beats in the past, so I don't really like to take them out with me. So when I'm going anywhere, um, like outside, whatever, I usually just buy the Poundland um, Geek Gear, is it Geek? Par Geek um, headphones or really just whatever the pound shop have at the time. There's a 3.5 millimeter jack that's long enough for anything I need. These are pretty decent headphones. They, um, guys, this also has a 1.2 meter cable, which is pretty standard, um, and they are super comfortable to wear. These probably last me, mm, I don't know, I would say a few weeks. They're not the best earphones in the world but I'm always a little fearful of losing the good ones that I got bought as a present so I just pick these up and I use these I mean they work for me they're fine um and I always like to have spur so I pick a pair up to use and I always have a pair um spur so I don't know how you guys feel about the cheaper headphones I mean I'm not I'm not really precious I guess about the things about things like that. I would be more precious if I lost um one of the items I would be um that I had got bought as a bought as a gift. So I'd be really upset if I lost my um my good headphones. So I don't mind picking these up. Um guys I don't know if you have ever tasted these Haribo um Chimalo party bags but these are so delicious. Um these are not the fat-free ones. They're, they do have fat-free ones, but these are not them. Um, but these are so delicious. They are fluffy. They're covered in super fine sugar that I love sucking off before I bite into the marshmallow. And the kids love these. Um, so I always have these in and around the house somewhere. But if you haven't tried these Haribo um, marshmallows, do try them. They're awesome. The problem is it says that it's a sure size. 
if the kids are not around, my nie and nieces and nephews, I'll eat this whole bag by myself. They're so good. You have to really discipline yourself, but they're delicious. Um, so if you guys haven't tried them, do try them and let me know what you think about them in the comment section. I'm always interested in um, if you guys have tried some of the products that I've tried. And because we all have different tastes, so it's always interesting to get your feedback, what you think of the products, um, sim similar products that you've used. Um, and if you guys have any hints and tips, please put them in the comments section below. I am all about sharing hints and tips. And guys, the last thing I bought is this hair mask. I am not precious again about the hair masks that I use. I just love using an intense hair product that makes, because I dye my hair quite a lot, I like to make sure that I'm also popping back in some nourishment. I try not to wash my hair so often I do wash my hair about three times a week um but anytime I wash my hair I love to put a hair mask on this one is the um expel herker the xhc it is the banana hair mask it is 250 milliliters which is awesome dermatologically tested it's paraben free and it smells delightful um and it always makes my hair feel super smooth now I know from talking to my sisters and I have lots of sisters that this doesn't always this doesn't always react to people's hair the same way my sister doesn't like this um hair mask she finds that it leaves her hair quite heavy um but she has very very fine hair I have very thick hair um and I love this it makes my hair feel and smell it makes it feel super silky smooth and it makes it smell so fruity. It's so good. Um, this little um, her mask says that it has an exclusive blend of ingredients created to, um, to revitalize and nourish. And that's exactly how I think it works for me. Um, it's just a straightforward um, banana her mask and Oh my gosh, the smell is just amazing. Guys, I would probably get four deep conditions out of this. Um, I do use normal conditioner on my hair and then I'll go in with the hair mask. I probably actually would get six out of this. Um, so, I mean, for six uses for a pound, I think this is pretty sweet. Um, I really love it. If you have used it and you let me know what you think um, in the comment section, Honestly, guys, I'm really open to your comments. I love whenever we can have a discussion around um, products that I've bought and you've bought and, and get our different feedback. Um, so it's always a lot of fun. But I love this hair mask. So, guys, that is my totally random <laughs> Poundland haul. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I had a blast buying this stuff for you. And I really do um, use a lot of the, the items that I buy. Some things I buy for the quirky um, kind of random um, value, but a lot of those things then what I'll do is put them into a giveaway um, and give back to you guys. So you can actually use and test and see um, how those products are for you. But if you guys like this video, please smash that like button. Every time you guys hit that like button, it really does help um, boost my channel. Um, and I'm ever so grateful. If you guys are not yet a subscriber, let's come ahead and, and join us. We would love to have you here. And if you um, want to be notified of any of my future videos, hit that notification bell. Guys, have the most wonderful day. Please stay safe. Please look out for each other. And I'm going to catch you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.